No. No! <laughs> yes, you! So fucking stupid! Hey! 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 Welcome to Stupid Movies, episode 138. Where we watch them so you don't have to. And this week we watched... Werewolf Fever. Werewolf Fever! Uh, we have Werewolf Fever, 2009. Mm. Not rated? Nope. Only 66 minutes long. Yep. Eight. Nice and short. Nice and short. It's like our schlong. <laughs> Indeed. This was a very indie, probably micro budget. Canadian. Ah, yes. Very, very Canadian. This was directed by Brian Singleton. Oh, hi, Brian. Hi, Brian. What's up? <laughs> this starred. <laughs> Nice. Um, Heather Doothy. Doothy. A.K.A. The Mole. Oh, well, um, yeah. Rich Glasgow. Mm. And the director's brother, Mark Singleton, who played three different pieces. What was this movie about? Um, <laughs> so there was a werewolf. Mm. And his temperature got too high. He had a fever. <laughs> kind of like a an old school small town sort of like burger joint you know where they drive up uh, right up on roller skates to serve you yeah, yeah, yeah. and um uh, a werewolf attacks oh, single location pretty yeah, much yeah we have one set uh what did we like about this you know i i really like uh especially the intro the, yeah. the opening credits was like a flashback like 50s style art animation yeah with like an 80s style rock Music or soundtrack, kind of the flashback vibe, which was cool. Yeah. I don't know if they meant to do that or not, but it, it worked. It might just be that they had no other money. <laughs> but you know, I also like the campy vibe in the atmosphere. It, it was super campy, very campy. I like that. I did too. We need more of that. We do. Yeah. And the the single location kind of made for the atmosphere to be kind of. It felt kind of cramped. It it, it claustrophobic, especially almost. at the beginning before people started getting killed. <laughs> Everybody's in the small. Yeah, place. I was like, ooh, I feel like we need a bigger room. Yeah. Can we move to a different room? Oh, oh. Uh, you know what? I like how short this movie was. Six six minutes. It was, but when it was over, we were both like, wait, it's done already. It flew by, uh, which the pacing. Was, yeah, it was, it was really perfect. good. You know, it, it didn't being so short, it didn't waste time. It gets to the point, and it just zooms out on Whoa. roller skates and just goes, which was good. That's always a plus. Uh, the werewolf, I thought was it, interesting. <laughs> yeah, um, I'm a big werewolf fan. Obviously, I'm not. <laughs> obviously, I'm learning. <laughs> but <coughs> I like the traditional werewolf. You know, that we're looking like wolves, and you know, like real wolves right. and shit. This one though. It was different. It was it different. looked weird, but it, it worked. It I liked like it. the face and the ears were like a bat. Yeah, it was almost... an overbite. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, that's what he sounded like too. Like when he was howling. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I love it. That's almost a perfect representation of it. And it, but it looked it looked better from the front. When it looked on the side, it just looked weird. Yeah, like a big old like it was like Jaws meant a bat. Actually, okay. Do you remember? Did you ever read Weekly World News? Like that tabloid? Yeah. yeah okay, yeah. do you, you remember Bat Boy? Yo. This guy yeah. looked like if Bat, Boy, Bat Boy grew up. He was all like furry and he got in the bat face and you like that? Yeah. That would be this That's werewolf. That's true. Yeah. I could see that. Yeah, it was definitely different. Like it's not your uh, It's not typical, a typical werewolf. But it, it worked. But the, I, I think there was I, an orgy at the zoo and this is what came out. <laughs> you know, the practical effects were pretty good for being pretty micro budget. Yeah. There wasn't a ton, but there was some decent gore. Yeah. It looked pretty good. <laughs> there were a couple little things where, and it's it's the, indie movies tend to have this where if there's a scene where blood is going to splash, you can tell there's someone just off camera with a bucket yeah. and they just literally Remind me of like on the wall. Adam Green in Hatchet where they do some of that. Right. And it's to be funny. Where this, See, they, they were doing it as a parody to be goofy. Well, this was doing it as a serious... <laughs> people don't die like that! People don't die like that! But, you know, commend their efforts. I mean... People don't die like that! People! Uh, what do you think of the acting? Uh, it was okay. It, it was acting. It was bad. <laughs> but... Uh, you know, the the thing is, it, it wasn't good. <laughs> if you had watched this by yourself, would you have had as much fun? 
Probably not. Yeah. Watching it together, I mean, we laughed our asses it was, off, it was but fun. we were making fun of the movie. We weren't True. having fun with the movie. True. I went into it expecting a pretty serious werewolf movie mm -hmm. uh, uh, off the bat, and then that opening True. scene... With that, a, seri a serious <laughs> werewolf yes. movie. <laughs> uh, don't, don't judge a movie by its disc cover. That's by their... its slip cover. Ah. Yeah. Ah. 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 Don't judge me by my slip. I'll ah, put that away. <laughs> um... But the the opening credits like instantly were yeah, like yeah. oh okay no I know exactly what kind of movie we're getting yep I've got it now yeah and it put you in the right mindset so that was good it's like if you're going into a trauma movie you know what you're walking in or sitting into right the minute you hear that dun 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 and you see the opening and... you know what it is you're gonna get yeah so that that that's a big factor and, and I think we should start using trauma as just like the the baseline for everything. I, I think we probably the most fun we had was you and I making impressions of the werewolf. <laughs> it was, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> you would start doing it too, and oh man, <laughs> the, the for me the the dialogue, which this was a for a werewolf movie, this was a very dialogue heavy movie. Mm. Like they fit. An hour and a half worth of dialogue into this 66 really minutes. Do. There was a lot of talking. And there was a lot of talking. Oh, my heart burns, burns there. Like a yeah. hemorrhoid fart. Yeah. Um, You're a movie. You're a movie. <laughs> what an insult. <laughs> You're a movie. Very chronologically confused. Yeah. When did you take place? There I mean, you gotta tell us. No clarity. Or did you take place in 2009? <laughs> and apparently, that's what Canada was like in 2009. Hey Jude, answer that question. Yes, please for us. let us know what was Canada like in two thousand nine. Come on, Jude, dude. <laughs> um, as much as I thought the uniqueness of the werewolf was cool, mm -hmm. ah, it was weird. I like the normal looking, but it's nice. It was different. It was different. Mm. That's just a lot of people are probably gonna like it. Yeah, it's weird looking. It was fun to look at, but it was fun. Yeah, yeah, that's a nitpick. Yeah. Um, the the sound, <laughs> the words and the lips didn't match up. No, and it sounded weird. It sounded like it was in a tunnel. Yeah, I <laughs> almost wonder if they went and ADR'd the whole thing afterwards and it didn't do be. a very good job of it. But then sometimes it sounded like there was no ADR. It was yeah. like it was in the room and it was like distant. Yeah, so I, I don't know. Indie movie, micro budget. Hey, yeah. I commend their effort. Yeah, yeah, um, sure. No. Um, <laughs> I don't. He's, he's not as forgiving as me. Uh, the opening shot, you didn't put this down, and I just remembered this. Speaking of little weird things, the opening shot was a crane shot. Yeah, like it starts up high and you can see it, you, you know, come down. Traditional crane shot. Perfect. Beautiful shot. Oh, yeah. The shadow of the crane was down in the corner the whole you time. Can you could see, see it folding down. <laughs> maybe, maybe it was a maybe it was a giant out of an erection. Oh. And then he was losing his bone. It would be kind of foldy in the middle. Well, I mean, he's a giant. Maybe he has to well, fold. Maybe could... it's like a lawn chair wiener. Oh. There were no boobs in this <laughs> Speaking movie. Speaking of that. <laughs> oh, oh. oh. Sorry, Chloe. It was your dad. It was me. Uh, no boobs. There I, were no boobs in this movie. I'm kind of okay with that, though, because... I'm not. They weren't that... It true. need... I don't care. Well, this movie needed something. Boobs are, that's true. Yeah. A pair of boobs would have been okay. I mean, they'd be Canadian boobs, but... Yeah, that's true. You know... Yeah. If all of them had got out at once, that'd be worth like a set of American boots. <laughs> That's true. I'm not sure what the exchange rate is, but... Uh, yeah, I don't know. But... Yeah, nah, you don't boot it, 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 it help. Like, move a little, little, little bit. Little. Yeah, move a little bit. Uh, <laughs> uh, the lead actress, uh, she had a, a mole, and not that, the, you know... A, hey, we it, all, you know... Look at, look at me. Look at me. Look at Rob. Right. It was distracting. Um, you know, eh, as, eh, eh, eh. some of, and by some I mean a lot of, <laughs> by ninety-five percent, the jokes in this movie, they just, no, weren't funny. just weren't funny. They just weren't funny. No, um, it was the, more laughing because they were so bad. Right. The the funniest parts of this movie were when they were trying to be serious about shit. And oh my god, we laughed our asses off because it was so <laughs> dumb. It was. But when they were trying to be funny, I don't know, maybe Canadian humor is just not up Maybe we to, don't get it. I, I don't know. Yeah. I, maybe if you're Canadian, these jokes were really hilarious, eh? Hey, maybe. 
how, exactly how they talk. I don't know. That's pretty much it. Uh, I, I will say the werewolf was brutal. I, I didn't mention that. The kills were pretty cool. brutal. Yeah, yeah, they were. It, there was no holes barred. Mm. I've seen a porno like that. I'm sure you probably have. It's a stupid bad movie, but it was fun. Right. But I am gonna give it seven out of eight <coughs> for the because I do they they for what they had they did a good job. Yeah. For what it was, they they did a good job. It wasn't boring. It was entertaining. It was funny. The world was cool. And there's gore. Yeah. So, you you I don't know if I just peed or if my copy came out. How do you not know if you just peed? I'll give it a point for every ten minutes. So six out of eight. Hey, that's pretty good. I Shout out of the week is our buddy Daryl on Instagram at macab. Is it macab? Is that how you say that? Yeah. Okay, that's what that at macab cinephile. Check him out. He's cool. Hey Daryl. Hey Daryl. D. Or whatever. Oh. Ah! That's who that is. I was like, who the <laughs> fuck is Daryl? Stay tuned. You can find us at... Oh, shit. Yeah. Facebook.com slash Stupid Movies. Or on Instagram at... At Stupid Movies. At The Horror Punk. At Dr. Sketch Turner. And that's where we'll be. See you next week. Ooh. Ooh. We just blew out the... I can see the audio <laughs> spiking. <laughs> Yeah, this is, uh, you know, you have all that stuff written down over here. No, too. I, I know. It's